We're back here at Granderson Stadium with USC head coach Mike D after the Flames knock off Wright State 4 to 1 on Friday at the Horizon League Championship to secure a berth in the uh, finale tomorrow. Coach, another emotional game as they've all seemed to have been against Wright State this year. How was how were the Flames able to kind of keep everything in check and figure out a way to win today? Well, you know, we we talk all the time about trying to have the same demeanor and going after things the same way, but it's tough against them cuz um, you know, this has been a rivalry, a really strong rivalry for a lot of years, and um, and they're just they're a really good club, and we know that. Um, but I think there's respect there. I, it, it's not a hatred thing. We just respect them, and we know what they've done. And um, and I thought our guys were terrific both before and during the game, and they were relaxed, um, focused. But um, you know, they're really been a resilient group for a long, long time. And uh, what I saw from them in the dugout just personality-wise didn't surprise me at all because uh, it's kind of who they are and, uh, and it's what's made them really successful. You talk about being being focused and being locked in. Reed Burley Mayor on the mound today, another perfect example of that. You know, had a couple guys on in the first inning, but but got out of trouble. You know, his defense helped him out a few times today as well. But just talk about the effort that uh, that Reed gave for the team. Well, I think you saw from both starting pitchers. You know, they both walked uh, the leadoff guy. You know, and there's a lot of emotion, a lot of adrenaline, and uh, it's hard not to have that. But the quicker you can get over that and get back to who you are and just playing the game that you've been playing a long time. And I thought, I thought Reed really did a nice job in that first inning of hanging on, hanging on, hanging on, uh, and getting out of it. And uh, I thought as the game went uh, longer, I thought he got better because he got more relaxed. And, and then the, ship, the pressure when we got the lead shifted to the other side of the field, of course, and now they're trying to do something special. So I thought Reed handled himself great. I thought Connor and Alex were outstanding. But I thought we had some really good at-bats. I thought we had a really good plan against their starter who was outstanding. Um, and you know, you just know you're not going to get a lot of chances on either side. And it really comes down to uh, who's, who has a good at-bat and takes advantage of it. And, um, and, and I thought we did a good job of that. So I'm really proud of our guys today, really pleased uh, the way we played. And, you know, going into tomorrow, we, we just have to treat tomorrow like, like it's just another day. And, and I believe we'll do that. Uh, we haven't, we're not a team that's really high and low. And uh, so we're looking forward to tomorrow. And last question I want to ask you something you kind of touched on a little bit there with the at-bats. You know, it seemed like there was a lot of good battles. So, you know, Bowen Ogata with that two-out RBI for the first run of the game. Yeah. You know, Mickey's double, you know, came after he yeah. fouled a few pitches off his foot there, scored the go-ahead run uh, today. You have to really be happy with the way that the offense is, is approaching these, these clutch situations that they are. I'm really proud of them. You know, when we've struggled offensively this year, we've gotten away from a couple of really simple concepts. And, and one of them is doing less with two strikes. And I thought we had gotten away from that uh, two weeks ago. And Sean has done a really good job of getting them back on track and, and working with it. And as always, when you talk philosophically, the important part is the kids buying into it, and I thought they, 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 they've done that the last week, and you saw examples of that today where balls got put in play with two strikes, where they weren't trying to do too much, and, and we also stayed in the zone. I don't think, uh, I don't recall, well, I guess there was one one pitch in the whole game that we had chased out of the zone, so, um, you know, it, it always boils down to really these simple, fundamental things, and, and our guys are just doing a really good job of following it right now.